Hi guys, it's Michelle with Honeymoon Always. Today I am coming to you from Sandals Regency Latoque in St. Lucia. It is gorgeous here. We've been here for about seven days and I have to tell you of the, I think 10 Sandals properties we've been to so far, this one's our favorite. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So follow along with us as we show you around the resort. Sandals Regency Latoc is located in Castries, St. Lucia on a half mile crescent shaped beach. There are nine restaurants, eight bars, and two golf courses. You also have free shuttle service to the other two Sandals resorts in St. Lucia, so you can enjoy those amenities as well. Like all Sandals resorts, all tips are included with the exception of tips for spa services or butler service. This resort is separated into two separate areas and this is the Sunset Bluff area. We spent most of our time over here because our room was right over here. That means that there's a nice breakfast area here. This is the Italian restaurant. We also have a really nice relaxing pool with a gorgeous view of the ocean. There's also a gym over here and a pool table. So we had basically everything we need right in this area. It has a very different and kind of a quieter feel than the rest of the resort. <laughs> However, it's super easy to get from one section of the resort to the other. You can walk. There is a little bit of a steep hill and luckily we had butler service and so we would just call our butler and have them pick us up in a golf cart and they'd take us up and down the hill. There's also a shuttle you can take to get up and down. The reason they call this a sunset bluff is because it has a stunning view of the sunset which we were able to enjoy every evening from our own balcony. So down here is the rest of the resort. This is the main area where you'll find the main lobby, many restaurants, and of course, a stunning beach that you can lay on and relax all day. They have a main pool down there, and that's where a lot of people get to enjoy some bumping music and some fun games. There is a swim up pool bar. There's also a quieter pool a little bit further up that a lot of people enjoy. To the far end of the beach is where you're gonna find all of your beach toys and water games. And now if you're lucky enough to be here on a day where the weather is cooperating, you might get to play those games. But we weren't able to go and use any of the kayaks or anything because it's been a red flag the whole time we were here. We still had a great time on the beach though. As you can see, it is a green flag out today, and so you can see a kayaker right down there. Some people tell us that they don't love this beach because it's a little bit rougher with the waves being a little bit stronger, and sometimes that's why we saw a red flag or a yellow flag while we've been here, but it's actually been one of our favorite beaches that we've been to so far. We really liked how much activity there was, so we hopped in the water, had a good time, and relaxed on the beach as well. And then of course, if you want something calmer, you can hop by the pool. We're gonna show you three different types of rooms you can stay at while at this resort. First, we're gonna show you the room that we stayed in, which is a Sunset Bluff Ocean View one bedroom butler suite that has a tranquility soaking tub. It included butler service, two bathtubs, and an extra bedroom, which was really nice. We arrived at night, so it was dark when we recorded, but you can also see that during the daytime, we had the most beautiful view. Next, we have this Ocean View one bedroom suite. We love this one because it's spacious, offers quite a bit of privacy, and the view is just gorgeous. I love the trees in the Ocean View. Last, we have the Millionaire Suite. This suite is incredible. It has an infinity pool and a hot tub overlooking the entire bay, all of which you can see right from the comfort of your bed. This room is completely luxurious. One thing to know before booking this Millionaire Suite is that it is on the top of a very, very steep hill. And Sandals does provide transportation up and down the hill anytime you want, so it shouldn't be a problem, but might just be one factor to consider before booking. Now 
let's talk getting to and from the resort. All Sandals resorts in St. Lucia are on the opposite side of the island from the airport. Sandals provides free shuttle service, but if you're sensitive to motion sickness, you may not love the hour, hour and a half drive on those long, windy volcanic roads. Dan and I are both sensitive to motion sickness, so instead of taking the drive, Dan and I took a boat ride around the island, which was stunning. It took about 90 minutes and was about $140 per person. They picked us up from the airport with our bags and shuttled us to the dock, and then we got on the boat and they offered us food and drinks. While we were on the boat, we had the best time. They had great music and St. Lucia is stunning. We even had some dolphins escort us along the way. After docking the boat, we then took a short shuttle service to the resort. time in St. Lucia, we took a helicopter ride back to the airport. The helicopter ride took about 12 minutes total and we got to see a lovely, gorgeous overhead view of St. Lucia. This was so much fun and definitely the best option for the motion sickness sensitive person. This helicopter ride was about $200 a person. I mentioned before that this so far has been one of our favorite sandals resorts we've been to and I think a big differentiator for us has been the service. We have been treated so well and I think in other circumstances we have gotten butler service and that's been great but here it's really been phenomenal. The butlers went above and beyond to make sure that we had a spectacular experience and anytime we sat down anywhere on a beach chair or a pool chair or anything we always had people coming and checking on us and making sure that we were comfortable and had all the drinks and all the food that we need and they were really anticipating everything we would possibly be looking for and I also felt like we were having genuine conversations and so of all of the sandals resorts we've been to so far this is the one we can definitely say this is the one we'd want to come back to. So I don't think this is normal but um, we asked our butler if they had any snacks like popcorn yesterday and she said no and then today she brought us popcorn. <laughs> Okay, we just got back from the beach and our butlers drew us <laughs> this bath. And then we walk into here and they have some mood lighting. Hey y'all. <laughs> We're actually heading to the other two Sandals Resorts in St. Lucia next. So follow along to see if we feel the same about those. Another thing for me that really sets this resort apart is that almost every restaurant has a stunning sunset view. Really beautiful ocean view, really nice water sounds. So it really makes everything feel more intimate and relaxed and just really tropical. <laughs> All about Sandals, Regency, Latak, and St. Lucia. It is gorgeous. If you have any questions about this resort, you can leave a question below. We are also gonna leave links in the description so you can click on those. And by clicking on those, that does support our channel, so thanks so much. You can also follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.